Hi folks, I'm here to do a quick video on how to use right tab stops to properly right align your dates when creating a resume. So to get things started, uh, first thing I want to make sure is everybody can see the ruler on their document in Microsoft Word. So we want to make sure that we go to view and click on ruler if that's not available to us. Um, the next thing that I want to make sure is everybody can see this button up in the top corner. Now, if you have a Mac, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be like a down to the right arrow in this case. Um, and that is your tab button. Now, when students are creating their resume, uh, I encourage them to have certain information on the left hand margin in a header section and certain information on the right hand margin in a header section. And one of those things that we want to be right aligned is the dates. Okay. Now, in order to properly use a right tab, we have to first select a right tab. And I'll, I'll tell you what a right tab means in a second. But right now you can see this selector is on left tab. So I'm gonna click here and that's actually gonna take us to a center tab. And then I'm gonna click again and it's gonna take me to a right tab. Now, when we looked at the paragraph formatting, again, we'll go in here and look at tabs. We note that the default is set at 1.27 centimeters, okay? What that means is every time that I hit the tab button, it's going to go default 1.27 centimeters. Okay, so every time I hit the tab button, it's going to go across the screen at 1.27 centimeter increments. Now, using tab stops, we can define where the tab stops exist on the ruler. So let's say I want to put a right tab stop in at four centimeters, and I want to put it in at eight centimeters, and I want to put it in at 12 centimeters. Now, when I hit tab, now I'm on the four centimeter mark. I hit tab again, I'm on the eight centimeter mark. So I have redefined where the tab stops are on this document. Now, in order to remove a tab stop, you simply click and drag it off the ruler. So here we'll click and drag it off the ruler. Now, we want to right align our dates. So I'm actually going to take this tab stop all the way to the right hand margin. Now, when we are creating our document, again, we're going to start at the front of the document. And let's say we're trying to explain to them that we have a Bachelor of Commerce uh, degree and we are going to graduate in 2021. So, Bachelor of Commerce. Now, at this point, most students are going to hit the space bar. And they're going to hit the space bar until it goes all the way to the other side of the document. Then they're going to type out candidate 2021. And then they're going to use space and backspace in order to get that date to align on the right hand margin. Because we have already inserted a right tab stop, we hit the tab button and it takes us all the way to the right hand margin. Now, I talked about a right tab stop, a left tab stop and a center tab stop. What a right tab stop does is it puts the cursor on the right hand side of what we're typing. And as we type, everything moves to the left. So. So now you can see that in a couple keystrokes, I'm able to get that information onto this line. Now, I want to show you why it's important to use a right tab stop as opposed to uh, what we had originally talked about students doing, which is Bachelor of Commerce, and then they hit the space bar. So we've hit the space bar a bunch of times, and we type out candidate 2021. Again, we've gone over the lines, so the student would normally come back to the front of this line here and hit backspace, and now we feel like we're right aligned. Okay. Where the problems arise is when you start to want to make changes to this document. Now, over the course of your career, you're going to have a lot of different job changes. Things are going to be changing all the time, uh, and you're going to be updating this document. Sometimes you might have to increase font size. Sometimes you might have to decrease font size in order to get it to fit on a one or two page resume. Watch what happens in the two different instances when I change the font size. So if I drop the font size one point, notice how where I use the right tab, it still maintains that right alignment, whereas here, it actually brings it back quite a bit. The reason for that is we've gone from an 11 point font down to a 10 point font. So each individual character, as well as each individual space takes up one font point less. So it's created a gap here at the end of the document, which means in order to edit my document, I have to come back and line by line, go through the document and hit spacebar, 
and get it to line up again. Right? That's a problem. If we again we go back to 11 point font, this is this looks fine. But if we increase the font size, now the font takes up more space. So it actually pushes candidate 2021 to the next line, which means we have to come in here and we have to delete space until we get to the previous alignment that we like. So as you can see, it's going to take a lot more work to make those changes to your document. One other thing that I find particularly helpful is if we need to make changes to the actual content. So here we have Bachelor of Commerce. And let's say we're applying for a job in marketing and we have a marketing major. So we want to make sure that we put that in our document. When we use a right tab, we can say Bachelor of Commerce and we can after the fact add marketing. And it's not going to push that to the next line. If we come down here, we hit space, marketing, and now all of a sudden we're in the same scenario before where we're using more character space here. So it's pushing it to the next line and we have to come back in and edit the document. And again, I'm just hitting the delete button until it gets back. If you have to do that line by line, every time you make changes to your document, it's going to make that process of recreating your resume that much more difficult. So understanding and using right tabs properly is going to save you a ton of time and it's going to make it a lot easier to make those documents look great and be consistent. So thanks for your time uh, and I look forward to providing you with more tips like this in the future. Thanks for watching.